Actually, he's riding in this creek. It's making me moist. Thanks, Greg. Welcome to race day at the 2020 Grassroots Enduro Tenterfield Terra. Like all of the races that I enter, my aim is not to win the race or to place anywhere. My goal is really just to finish the race and if possible, finish at least two laps. Wow. What a mess. And the first obstacle, which is the one I was most worried about, is the big hill climb. And as you can see, it was quite a mess. I sat at the bottom of the hill for about five minutes just watching the different lines people were taking and watching some of the carnage as well. You don't have to go far up as the bloody line of bikes and the way Hey! <laughs> oh. Here's my first attempt at getting up the hill, and you can see I'm really not approaching the hill aggressively enough. good example of why you should keep your goggles on even if you're not moving anywhere. The night before the race started, myself and a couple of other riders walked up and down this hill to pick out some lines and moves. So I'm not going to go up any higher because I've already dropped my back wheel in, so I'm just going to try and sneak across here. I'm hoping I'll be able to come across here and then maybe sneak and pivot in. Of course, once you get 100 different riders all laid over on this hill, the lines that you've picked become null and void. How you going? Good effort. Failing at my first attempt at the hill climb, I decided my time would be better spent helping some of the bikes through at the top of the hill. Thanks, buddy. First fail for me. I ended up taking a second run at the hill and got up an extra 20 meters, but I forgot to press the record button. And here is a great example of where hard enduro differs from most other types of off-road motorbike racing. Here, you can see the official giving advice to a rider and then helping the rider get through a tricky pivot turn. And of course, I'm always more than happy to take advice from more experienced riders. The more you feel come around, end up down there. Okay. So what we want to do is just try and follow the last nearly on the fender. Yeah. Aim for that rock with your front wheel. Okay. When you're just about to hit it, then turn. You can turn it. Right. Once we get your back wheel on the spot, yeah, go up. Drive out of the corner. Yeah. Back wheel on the spot, then we'll bring your front around with the right, back. So stop there. Stop there. Yeah.
Thank you. Remember that. Cheers. Okay, so uh, I'm about 500 metres into the track. Uh, don't know what the time is. A bit bloody tired after hauling those bikes. That'll take it out of you. Plan for the rest of the ride is just cruise through. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the trails, help a few people out and just relax. Try to relax. Oh, we're about 10, 15 meters just off to the side of the fire trail that runs on the crest of the spur. Um, so it's all off camber. Lots of little branches and limbs, rocks, um, pretty soft, fluffy dirt as well. But, uh, yeah, quite enjoyable. It's making a, a real effort to um, try and stand and uh, hold the bike with my knees just to give my arms a break. Uh, yeah, obviously when, you, when you're tired or you're not in a hurry, you tend to sit down, which uh, is a lot more stress on your forearms, which is not what I want. Just going to take this one nice and easy. Try not to damage the bike, try not to wear myself out, and have fun. That is the name of the game. Just a coffee stop. This is the bloody ride we want. This is gold. Not really gold, it's silver, but this is awesome. Yes, should uh, should have killed the engine. Oh, you'll find out in a minute. No, no, it's like there's a there's a log about the diameter of this going diagonally across the track just there. Oops. Oh, sorry. Do you need a lift? Oh, you're right. Give me a second. Hang on. Let me park this. Thank you, mate. Hey, you me, you? If you want, yeah. That's on. Oh, it's a fan. There's no kill switch. No. It's got some compression. I suppose you know, so I don't know what to with it. That's hard to kick over. This is like uh, the sound of music. <laughs> Might stop and have another little sneaky snack. I'm going to get up to the top of this. Come on, Bessie! Come on! Got to remember to stand up. Save my arms.
is now on up my freckle. Just because I'm on a easy Sunday ride, it doesn't mean that everyone else is. No point being an asshole blocking the track. If there's someone that wants to get through, let him go through. It's going to be quicker. Easy, easy. Don't go too fast. The last thing we need is the buddy. Front wheel slipping out. Thanks, buddy. Hey, steady there, big yeah. fella. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, pig snagged on the rock. That'll pull you up in a hurry, right quick. <laughs> I'm not having a good run. That's a tie breaker, that one. <laughs> How good is this? Nice, eh? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Feel like Luke Skywalker going in to bomb the Death Star. Watch your head. This is nice. Flowy. Up and add them. Up and add them. Yeah, all the breakies. A bit hot, lots of rocks. I'm excited. Deep is this water? Deep but not super deep. This is bloody awesome. Pull the clutch and not let it out. Not bad, go. At least there's a groove. Come on, Bessie. That'll do. Here, fuel down. One thing I find really interesting when traveling around the country doing these types of races is the different terrain you get to ride on. At Tenterfield, there was quite a loamy, sandy uh, type dirt on the track. And at face value, it looks like it's quite slippery and sandy, but once you get into it, it really is quite grippy. I was really surprised at how much traction I could get going up some of the hills, even when I was going really slow, paddling my way up. Wrong way. Jack goes this way, you gotta go up.
That's a ripper. Was a workout. I much prefer riding bikes to dragging them uphill. The course includes a lot of big steep uphill climbs but what goes up must come down. A good example is this hill here and the hill is so steep that you really need to make sure your speed is in check before you start your descent. There's just not enough grip on the ground to slow you down if your bike starts to run away on you. And this obstacle here, again, looking at it, it's not a big obstacle, but it's a very short, steep uphill section with big ruts along the way. Trying to get drive on the way up is very hard. You really need to get a burst of momentum at the bottom and then use the clutch to smooth that delivery as you go over the bumps. And the final video fail for me during this race was failing to change my battery. I didn't get any footage of the final hill climb and I didn't get any footage of everyone going through the pinch again. After finishing my first lap, I stopped to refuel my bike, have a drink and something to eat. I decided to ride a second lap, but I took my camera gear off so I could focus more on my riding. Yep, that's up. A big congratulations to everyone that participated in the race and finished. And I'm really looking forward to going to the 2021 Tenderfield Terror. See you there.